arrive at the table presenting the bottle clearly to the guest. It allows him or her to check the label and vintage. If the guest confirms the wine, you can proceed in opening the bottle. It is the same for white wine, but you will have to avoid water dripping from the bottle. The blade of the waiter's friend is just behind the lever. Grab the bottle at the neck, position the blade under the lip and turn the blade completely around the bottle. Traditionally, the reason why you cut below the lip is to avoid the metallic foil to interfere with the wine that could later affect the taste. Close the blade and open the corkscrew. Position the point of the corkscrew in the center of the cork and twist clockwise down until you're left with one loop of the spiral on the screw. Position the upper notch of the lever on the upper edge of the bottleneck. Hold the bottle and the lever simultaneously around the neck and pull vertically the lever arm to reveal the cork. Before serving, clean the bottle top with your cloth to remove any deposits. Position the bottle in the palm of your hand with your thumb inserted in the recess of the bottom. Lean the bottle away from you towards the glass and pour a small amount of wine for the guest to taste. When the guest approves, continue to pour, filling half the glass. For a red wine, the glass should also be half filled. Twist the bottle sharply above the glass and lift the bottle. This will minimize dripping on the tablecloth and perfect the art of serving wine. To serve champagne at the table, slowly pour the champagne, wait for the bubbles to settle and fill up the glass completely.